Good afternoon. It's, uh, it's my absolute pleasure uh, to be invited to present the closing address for day one of the Victorian Spatial Showcase and the Summit. Uh, Triple S always delighted to be partnering with Sue Jeter and Del Whip uh, to present the 2020 edition of the Victorian Spatial Showcase where the organising committee have assembled an outstanding list of presenters from across the industry, bringing together government agencies, industry academics, and community spatial enthusiasts to connect, learn more about the innovative spatial data technology and services that Victoria has to offer. Uh, the event today uh, also aligns actively with the World GIS Day, which represents a day of global recognition to raise awareness and help others learn about geography uh, and the real world application of GIS and spatial science that is making a difference in our society and fits very well with the conference theme of spatial enabling and sustainable development goals. Um, which has been well presented here today with some outstanding presentations and what actions and activities are happening locally, regionally and internationally to address the challenges and opportunities for us all to achieve those goals. Uh, I would like to firstly thank and acknowledge uh, all of our speakers from today's program. Uh, our keynote speakers, Melissa Harris and Michael Lanier, uh, who gave equally excellent presentations on how spatial innovation and data is supporting and enabling development. Uh, and better decision making, such as powering Victoria's future sustainable growth uh, and helping to mitigate and manage global disaster responses, which both lead to improve our for the broader community locally and globally. Also, a big thanks to our panel representatives and all of our spotlight and lightning speakers for the insightful and informative presentations and discussions, uh, which has provided further evidence as to how the spatial community is working together to provide innovation, knowledge, and skills to help deal with the challenges of presenters from the various chiefs. Uh, a big thanks to Andre and the organising team for the efforts in putting the summit together. Uh, I'd also like to acknowledge and um, again acknowledge our summit sponsors for their ongoing support for this and other industry events. One Spatial, Axis, Quasi and Cigar Kennedy. Finally, a big thanks to all of the delegates um, who have supported this event. Um, the unprecedented events of this year have impacted us in so many ways, which has been triple SI like many other aspects of our daily, daily lives has had to adapt and find new and innovative way to continue to deliver its valued services to our members in the broader spatial community. Uh, although we've not been able to meet face to face for most of this year, we've continued to deliver seminars and events online, which still provide a great opportunity for learning, information sharing and networking. And we thank you for your ongoing support to this approach, where we've had an unprecedented response of well over 700 registrations for the, for the two days events. Uh, so a heartfelt thanks to everyone who's attended today and with another great program of speakers, we'll be back tomorrow for even more fantastic presentations. Uh, before I go, I wanted to remind everyone of the YP Networking uh, evening hosted by the Triple SI Young Professionals at 4pm. Uh, I encourage everyone to grab their drink of choice and come along to this great networking opportunity where you'll get to meet new people or catch up with industry colleagues that you haven't seen for a while uh, and discuss the topics of the day. Thanks again um, and have a good afternoon.